Hello. Um, first of all, let's just look at this beautiful cover. I think this is the second book I've used with this cover because I'm a big fan. But let's get into it. So this was from May 1st to the 15th. And this is just a little doodle. I always put something different in the stamp place because I don't, I'm not in the state, so I can't just go to all these sweet parks and get stamps for them. Which, I mean, I would really like to do that. That would be really cool. Anyways, I went to a place called Awesome Place Coffee and Dessert, and they had um, a tea by Denman Island, which is funny because. I guess I'd been drinking their tea at multiple locations near me, but I didn't realize it until I had this tea, the Midnight Jasmine, at this new coffee shop. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's just amazing. I don't know if it was just like the mug they put it in or how long it steeped, or but it was just amazing. So I bought some... Earl Grey for my mom for Mother's Day and then a Jasmine for me. And then I found out that my my old roommate, um, her cafe sells that tea as well so she can get it for me for cheap. So, that was very exciting. Uh, notes, uh, book notes. Uh, just write. I like to write about when I'm you know, there's just, okay, sorry, not very articulate. There's a mood I get. That's like a very grateful, journal-y, enjoy-the-moment mood where it's I'm usually like really excited about my notebooks and I've maybe done my like calm meditation app, done my devotions, have my tea, and it's just like this great feeling. So I, I like to write about it a lot because it uh, mixes with journals and I'm really excited. So, yeah. So... Yeah, mmm, sipping jasmine tea. And church notes. This was the Earl Grey tea that I got from my mom. I also got her some potted plants for Mother's Day. Oh, ooh, I was really inspired at this time for writing, uh, which is good because I need to write my everything my book about the everything book. <laughs> so um, I was just writing down ideas to kind of get you in the mood for whatever writing. So that's, that's a cool day. Oh, and um, I made myself an art coaching book, uh, which is basically just a duotang filled with all the printed sheets that I need to show other people that I'm teaching. If you are interested in art coaching, I would love more students. It's like one of my favorite things to do, like getting people excited about art. And it's mainly, most of the ones I do are just teaching how to draw characters and people, but it can be customized to whatever you need. Like if you need to work on a sketchbook habit, yeah, I'm all for that. So anyways, <laughs> I bought the duotang at the dollar store, so I, I put that in there and then I drew this little comic about when you go to the dollar store and feel rich AF because yeah you go to any other store and you're like oh that one item is like 40 bucks and then you go to the dollar store and you're like dollar 25 I can do that so anyways but I'm gonna do a tang and my tabs and my clear sheets and uh, I felt very accomplished and I'm I'm still feeling great about that because that has streamlined my art coaching process so much. I don't have to print them all out every single time. Now it's just all ready to go. So, A plus to me. I was watching a Lee Ellickson video and she said something about her keys and painting them. I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally paint my keys so I know which one is for what. It's brilliant. Uh, this was on one of the days I went to a school um, to help teach about comics and art. And we were all just kind of doodling, so I just, I was doodling on paper, but then I switched my book to kind of have it all in one place. And so these I drew on just regular paper. I just taped them in, and I was teaching about a color wheel. That's pretty cool. And then these were the um, flowers that I drew separately, and I was very proud of them. So I cut them out, and I put them in my book. I love drawing plants and coloring them with color pencil. It's so satisfying. Um, 
these were different events that were coming up and I needed to write down who I need to get gifts for. Um, yep. And I wanted to buy stickers for my water bottle at Van Calf, which is an art market, but I actually didn't buy any stickers there. Shame, shame on me. Uh, and more flowers. And then this was like, I covered it up because I, I didn't love it. But drew some strawberries and some vegetables. Do you ever, when you're drawing and you're really like intense drawing and you get warm? I don't know, happens to me. So I drew myself getting too warm. Um, yeah. Notes about books I'm reading and little comics. Uh, a little comic I did about my stomach hurting. Drink water. I don't think it's helping. More. More. Uh, yeah. I feel like that was like me telling myself to drink water and it would just make everything go away. And then this was about the mug that I had gotten from um, my, uh, my friend and boyfriend and other friend. And um, I was doing an email to try to send to them about the defects and how I wanted the money back. But uh, I was feeling a little periody that day, so there's a lot of emotions. And yeah. um, this was my healthy snack idea page. I wanted to get some groceries. And I was like, oh, why not get lychee? That's amazing. I love lychee, but it is expensive. So it is not really something that I will be doing often. Oh, this, oh, this was a good day. So, uh, my friend Kristen, I was at her place. We have work days together where we just go hang out and work on our own stuff. And uh, she gave me a book called The Girl in the Peach Tree. And it talked about, like, journals and pens. And I was just in one of those moods that day where I, like, was really into reading a book like that. So I sat down. She has a fireplace. I had my tea. I had my music on and it was just like one of those moments it was amazing the book has gotten a little sappy for my taste um with the romance stuff but um yeah that's okay uh these were things i needed to take photos of for my everything book um journaling book tea music i think i was pretty excited about all my reading stuff at that time. I was at a coffee shop at this point. Oh, John C. Maxwell. I was taking notes on his talks and he is like, ugh. not only is he funny, but he's just like got so much good information. So I was writing down some notes on that. More John C. Maxwell. Uh, Sam was sick. Yeah, poor guy. I felt bad. So I left him al alone to sleep. Um, this was me at a Juliet Cafe. And notes about brain activity or something. And I was trying to draw out what was in front of me. Do a little bit more of that where I just draw out whatever's around me instead of the same thing every time. So I draw freckles all the time and it's great. And I will continue to draw her all the time. But um, I have been feeling like maybe I want to draw some other things as well. Like this flower that was crushed on the ground and I thought it looked kind of cool so I took a photo of it and then drew it. Yeah. And there you go. There you have it. That book. Please like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, s subscribe. And stay tuned for more new videos. Woo! Bye.